All right, guys. So here I'm going to show you a combination of uh, three submissions you, you can get when the person has your back, complete control over you, with the seat belt on, or trying to choke you. Okay. So George is here, taking take my back. Always remember here when I'm here. Okay, I want to sit and I scoop down and I put pressure on his hip. So anytime that I want to kick my legs out, it's easier for me to kick my leg out, okay? So I'm here. So what I'm gonna do here is my, my first submission here is gonna be, I'm gonna push his leg here, okay? Cup his knee, push, chin to shin, pull the leg. So here, I wanna create this pressure here, okay? So if I, I feel like his foot is loose, I just bring my shin down to the floor and I put this pressure here, okay? Remember, you're usually, always using the knife with the shin, okay? So I'm here, and I went to here, and George defended, he took me to the other side. So he took me to the other side, I got my leg, this leg in here, cup, cup, push, okay? Now he defends, he grabbed my arm, push, I'm gonna go again, switch, X, control, tap the bounce. They can be used as a combo or they can be individual positions, okay? So I'm here. Opa. And the first one is here when somebody is taking your back. So first thing that you want to do here, the person has a seat belt, you want to block here, because if they want to come and choke you here, you're blocking this hand, and you're pretty in good control here, okay? So what I'm going to do here is very, very simple and very efficient. I'm going to bring my arm while I'm blocking here underneath his leg. This is for me to block his leg here in a way that he cannot put his knee on the ground. And I'm going to lean completely to this side here, putting all the weight of my body on his leg. So in that case, now I'm controlling his hip. Okay. While my hand's still here. Pay attention to this detail here. He has the hook here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn my leg until I get the hook out right here. I can, until I get the hook out, and once I find this space here, I'm gonna bring my shin to his ankle, okay? From here, I'm gonna hold his toes, turn my shin towards him here, and push, okay? Now people think that the guy can choke you here, okay? So if I'm in this position here, what I do is, Remember I have my hand in here, I tuck in everything. So by the time that he goes for the choke here, he's gonna tap. Now the idea of this hand being here, because you only have one hand and you have basically a pressure of your shin towards the weakest part of his shin, is that this arm here doesn't allow him to pull the knee out. So if I go just here, He's gonna pull. So here, when I block it, now I control his my, his hip with my my leg. It's very easy for me to turn, find here the sweet spot, and push. Very effective, very fast. Sometimes people don't have the time to tap; they scream. So I call this move the shin crusher, which is the strong part of your shin going into his weakest part of his shin right here. Okay, I'm gonna find the sweet spot right here. Okay, on the move, his foot is here, should be right here. So what we're gonna use now, we're gonna do a foot lock, but when the person has your back. Uh, I've done this position many times in my career, it saved me a lot. It's uh, the way you do it, that's gonna make a difference. So just pay attention to the details, guys. Right? So, George here has the hooks in, and I'm blocking him here. Okay, so my elbow is going to come inside here, okay, and I'm going to always turn to the side that he has the 
the hand on top of my shoulder, not under my arm. Because under my arm is going to kind of limit me going for the foot lock on this side, but not on this side. So again, I'm going to turn to the side here, okay? And I'm going to shrimp completely out. And when do I know that the position is right? When I feel like my head touched the ground. So almost like I'm going to do a side shoulder roll. So my foot here comes this way and I go all the way up here. This kind of protects my, ne my neck and the choke. So I grab here from his toes. I want to grab exactly here where the, the, the foot becomes a bit thicker so he doesn't slip the foot. Okay. Now pay attention that my shoulder is connected to my, to my ear. Okay. My shoulder here is connected to my ear, so it's difficult for him to get the choke in here. Okay? It's sideways. All right? So from here, I got to this position here. Now I'm going to lunge myself forward while still controlling his leg. So I'm on my toes here. I'm going to lunge myself forward here, all the way out. See how my, I shrimp all the way out here? When I do that, my hand connects to his foot. It's already very tight here, okay? But, but George here, he can try to escape. So what I'm gonna do, my leg is gonna X his leg here. Now it's difficult for him to turn, George. Even if he turns, I'm gonna follow him here, okay? So right now here, I turn my wrist and I should. Okay. So full speed here. It's very important for me to get to, when I get my hip off the ground here, here, like I went on my toes, and I, as if there is a object, here there, there's a, something here that's blocking me, I wanna come out of it here, boom. Now I got my foot out, and my hips out. I'm blocking this leg, and I come here, okay? And I grab here. Now this detail is very important. I like to do this here. My hand turns like a knife, okay? And I push it. And the X here, now I'm controlling him here, okay? I just wanna go one more, because the, the, the secret to the position is this my hip coming out of inside his legs. So this is the movement here. Another variation of, of this escape uh, with a kind of like a, a calf slicer, but with one hand um, is also efficient. And it's nice for you guys to watch all three videos and try to put one or the three in your game. And I'll show you here on the last part of the video. Okay. So I'm here with him. So the, the one that we did here is that we, we pushed here, okay? The leg came out here and we came here, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is the opposite. I'm gonna push his leg out, okay? I'm gonna bring my shin all the way inside. And I see it, I want my shin to go this way. So what I do here, I, tur I push him and I turn towards him here, okay? I'm gonna, Control his knee. I'm gonna bring his leg here. Now I'm gonna push my leg down and connect my hand. Okay, again. I block his knee so he doesn't pull the leg out. Here, I grab the foot and I turn towards me. Okay. Once I do that here, I come here. I push the leg down and control. Okay. All the time I'm protecting my neck. So I'm here, I try to go here, he understands what's going on here, boom. Now I turn, look, at the same time I turn, I connect here, okay? And then you can, can, can connect all of them together, okay? So look at the connections here. So I came here, boom. Here is already tapped, he pushed, came out, control, Came here, didn't work. So you can put the three together. So it's, 
Somebody that takes your back is actually going to be scared to keep you in your back if you're on the brown and black, black belt level, that you can actually do all these three combinations of missions.